And people all over the area are assessing the damage and trying to get government assistance to help pay for it. And FEMA is ready to step in. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes joins us. He's at a temporary FEMA registration center, this one in St. Pete. And how long is that open tonight, Ryan? Stacy, good evening to you. This center closes at 8 o'clock tonight. Community organizers are here to show people how to apply for federal funds. There's some information on there for FEMA for emergency services for yourself, all right? Okay. They hit the streets with one thing in mind and one thing in hand, help. The St. Petersburg police cadets fanned out across the city and left flyers for people, telling them how to apply for aid from the Federal Emergency Management Agency. People, people are happy. Um, at least having an answer is sufficient for now to get them going. Many here need help going forward. Some have damaged homes or cars. Most we spoke to plan to file a claim for spoiled food after they lost power when Hurricane Irma barreled through. Yeah, because all my meats, them spoil. All my meats. They, they spoil, I have to throw everything away. Oh, no. Shalene Jones thinks she lost up to $300 in food. Her neighbors are in the same boat. Plus, if I can get some help to buy back my food, I will. Homeowners, renters, and business owners in 37 Florida counties can apply for FEMA aid. The process can take weeks, if not months, to be approved, but not every application gets the green light. Most damage to properties or homes is generally covered by insurance. FEMA usually helps people who don't have it. And this FEMA Help Center is located at 6090 Central Avenue in St. Pete. Again, it closes at 8 tonight. Stacy. All right, Ryan Hughes in St. Petersburg, thank you for the information. And if you need to apply for FEMA assistance, we've posted a link that you need to do that. You'll find it on our homepage and also on the News Channel 8 app.